This project and this collaboration came about via a conversation with uh, one of my esteemed colleagues, Charles Norman Mason. Charles Mason, I uh, chair the composition department at the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami. And that's where I met uh, Gabriel. He uh, had come down for an interview and then was hired. And so uh, we took him out to lunch. And he started talking then about wanting a piece. I, I knew about Chuck's music. I took a listen to it. I know you had written some things for Wind Ensemble. And I floated the idea of an amplified bassoon and brass and percussion piece to him. First I thought, amplified bassoon, what, you know, what's that? But then when he played it, because he has a special way of creating that instrument, it's not just playing into a microphone, it was this glorious sound. I thought, ah, oh, yeah, I would love to write for this. <laughs> So when Gabriel uh, told me he wanted to record it up here in Boston with Triton Brass, I was like, I was really excited about that. This collaboration with Triton Brass came quite naturally. First, A, I needed a brass quintet. B, Wes Hopper, um, the trombonist in Triton Brass, is one of my oldest friends. Uh, the interesting thing about it for me is that the project's been ongoing for about four years, and it's come together now with uh, my very good friend from middle school, so a very long time ago, Gabriel Beavers and I went to school together in Hartzell, Alabama. So we're super stoked to get that put out and uh, into the hands of you modern music lovers out there. As a bassoonist in the orchestra, over the years, I'm used to sort of being flyover territory. Like, the bassoons are here, the brass are there, and we're just getting mowed down, and I thought, Hmm, what could put me on equal footing? I started thinking about the confidence that it would take a bassoonist to come out on stage and play that, and the arrogance. And so then, therefore, that brought out the uh, title of uh, Swagger. 